Ramesh, I'm founder and CEO of Suchi Inc. Uh, Suchi Inc. is a technology-enabled supply chain for apparel brands, large and small. Uh, so we actually design uh, creative and technical design, uh, source materials, produce, cut and sew, and ship all here proudly in the United States. And our technology is an industry 4.0 connector. So uh, hardware on the, so on the shop floor communicates in real time uh, with the front end software to provide our stakeholders, uh, brands and retailers, minute to minute data tracking and visibility to the supply chain. We work with over 120 brands of all shapes and sizes, billion dollar companies, as well as a ton of emerging brands. And it's given us a very unique vantage point um, as to what's changing uh, with the supply chain for a paddle. Um, added to that, everything that we do is in the United States, and we're very passionate about the combination of technology automation um, along with process efficiencies. Uh, so I want to talk to you about some of the key trends we're observing, um, and we really view this as a team, not just as trends, but as permanent shifts in the way clothing is conceived um, and made here in the United States. So the first point we'll talk about is the importance uh, of last mile manufacturing. The second, uh, the point that I would love to talk about is uh, a demand and then supply-based model versus a supply and then demand-based model. The third point we'll talk about is sustainability, what it means and how you can actually implement it. The fourth point is that data is the new oil and how can you capture data across your entire shop floor. And finally, uh, technology and automation and how you can integrate that in simple ways. So the first one definitely that uh, we see um, is a big movement is last mile manufacturing. Um, and we've all heard about the, um, the influence Walmart and Amazon have had uh, with respect to pushing last mile fulfillment to being as close as possible to the point of purchase. Uh, but as a company that's um, invested heavily in the integration of technology and process efficiency, uh, we also see a movement towards uh, extending the last mile fulfillment to, to fulfillment to also last mile manufacturing. Uh, and that means not just making locally, but ensuring that there's the right combination of uh, manufacturing warehouses across the country. So as orders are coming in, uh, they are fulfilled from the point that's closest to the point of purchase. Um, the, the, the second thing, which is kind of tied to last mile manufacturing, is the, um, is the ability to be flexible. And in all supply chains today, the more nimble and the more flexible they are, the more successful they are, and hence in reverse, the more rigid they are. Uh, it, 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 it sets the brand up in a really uh, bad space. Um, and, and so related to that, of course, is how you plan if you are a brand or a buyer. Uh, the second shift is um, how you uh, make your product. So we're definitely moving away from uh, a supply-driven uh, supply chain uh, to a demand and then supply kind of supply chain. So the, the difference between that really is instead of throwing a pair of dice and saying you want about 1,000 units or 10,000 units per product, um, you're now making goods based on where your demand is coming from. And that really goes back to the first point where you need a flexible, nimble supply chain that's close to the point of purchase so it can react to where your demand is coming from and then you're making your supply. Uh, the third thing definitely is sustainability, and sustainability can mean a lot of things, but I think no longer is it seen as a luxury. Sustainability is just a way of doing things. And what we've seen is that these terms are um, used a lot, and they can also be abused a lot. Um, and to us, they really mean key, uh, three key points. Uh, fair labor conditions where people are paid well and they're working in safe environments. Um, the second is um, part of sustainability is ensuring you have a trackable and traceable supply chain. Um, and finally, it's the fabrics that you use and that your consumers wear and ensuring that they can move back to the earth. Um, so that's definitely uh, a key shift. Uh, the fourth uh, and very critical is data and the value of data. Data is the new oil. And we see that there's a lot of data that exists in the buying or demand forecasting area but not so much data in the uh, digital supply, uh, on the shop floor. So we definitely encourage you to uh, capture data um, on, the, on the floor. Um, how, how much time is it taking to go from cutting to sewing? How much time is it taking to go from sewing to packaging? And this data, when combined with the rest of the organization, uh, can, be, can be hugely valuable for you. Um, the final and the, and the fifth shift um, that we see in, in supply chains is the integration of technology and automation. Um, we see a huge, we've seen a huge rush in design visualization, 
um, AR and VR uh, software. Uh, but the area where we feel that there's going to be a lot of investment, both by design, but also because of requirement and a need, um, is, in, is on the shop floor, um, as well as in early stage robotics. So uh, going back to the point about data being the new oil, uh, our, our proprietary technology, the Suchi Grid, connects the supply chain um, and provides data across the different points, um, and, and, and in turn provides uh, trackability and traceability, which you as the brand can then monetize by charging your end consumer a little bit more for providing that visibility. Um, in the same way, while it's good to bring things back to the USA, um, it's also very critical to ensure that the cost um, pressure is maintained and you're able to cater to um, uh, the, the cost of goods sold and keep a cost of goods sold that ensures margins for the brands. And that's why automation is so key where you, um, there is the 2080 rule where you find the 20% of um, operations that you can automate to achieve 80% of um, uh, reductions or, or, or areas that could help bring the, the total cost down. Thank you for watching and good luck.